Hey everyone, it's Lady Ivana here, and today I bring you XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, Long War, or Long War of the Chosen, as they say. I have over 200 hours in XCOM 2 alone, and maybe like 100 in XCOM Enemy Within as well. But I have never really dipped my toes into a Long War scenario. I played it a little bit when it came out, when it first came out, but I only played a few missions. I didn't really understand what's going on, but now I have like really want to take a deep dive into this and explore what XCOM has to offer. So what we're going to do, and I kind of looked at all the settings. This is my first playthrough. I'm going to do what I think is going to give me the most advantage. Um, I'm going to start with the Reaper HQ. Because I enjoy the Reapers. Start with Veteran. We're going to start off with Veteran. And depending on how well this series goes, we might actually do Commander and Legend as well. Maybe even Veteran might be a little still, a little too hard for us. I don't know. This is going to be a whole new game for me to learn. We're going to enable Iron Man. And integrated content. Accessing the feed now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the tutorial. Well, the tutorial is not we're not doing the tutorial tutorial. We're doing the gate crash mission. And every ex well, at least in with this, it's gonna I cannot talk. I'm trying to make a good intro and I can't. I can't talk. But those of you who don't know, aliens won. And XCOM 2. I'm really going fast here on it. I am sorry. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent Uh, I remember when this game came out. It was amazing. But right now we're going to get things going. I'm trying to keep these videos semi-short, you know, a balanced viewing pleasure. Maybe an hour, maybe a more. Let's just, it's just one of those things we're going to see how things go. But yeah, every time you start a new game with no tutorial, you do a little mission that's just a skirmish. I think in the vanilla game, it's uh, go to X location and blow it up. And this one is just kill all the enemies, I believe. Uh, God, the letters are tiny. The letters are tiny. I think my screen resolution's terrible. Uh, yeah, Operation Gate Crasher. Neutralize the targets. That's our job. Just kill the enemies. And of course, um, uh, Long War of the Chosen has its own little set piece on its tutorials, which I love. But, so, blah, 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 trying to talk, trying to think. Honestly, I don't like this map for a first runabout because one, there's a lot of high cover for us and the enemy, and there's choke points. But to explain how, if you don't know how XCOM 2 works, I'm gonna explain it really quick. Uh, XCOM games are turn-based strategy you kind of like you to control the games, but you have a certain movement radius and you move. You can sprint past the said location as well. You have abilities down here in the hot bar. Each one does a different thing. Every character has their own set statistics. And we'll explore that later as well. Now, what we're doing in, in the previous XCOM games, it was just rush in, shoot them up. Mission complete. In this one, since we're a resistance, we're stealthy. We actually start out in stealth. And with that, we're going to essentially scout out the area, trying not to let the enemy see us. And then once we locate a pod, I will explain that as well. So we're going to move here with our first movement. 
every character has move to this character has two actions that we can do. If we shoot, the turn ends, depending on what the abilities say. We're also gonna move here. Order's confirmed on the move. See if we can spot someone. Nope, we didn't spot anyone. I'm gonna move here, just a little peeky peek. And we're gonna move here. What we're looking for right now is a pot of enemies. There is no one. Okay. So now that we know it's safe, I'm going to have them all rush up and in our turn. There's no time limit for this mission. We can take our time. Out. Now, no one, no one's really named yet. I don't know how we're going to handle that. I might name a few of the characters some of my friends' names, and I might name. Oh. Yep. So the Reaper is a stealth unit that was brought in with the War of the Chosen DLC. And they have their own little special quirks and abilities. It's really cool. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Split the teams up evenly. Moving to designated coordinates. And we'll have them just escort. Not escort, but scout out what's going on here. And no sights. It is now turn two, or round two, at least. Oh wait, it's not. This guy still has to turn. Uh, in the turn. Oh, we got sight of a pod. It looks like it's a normal advent trooper. Oh, it's the Power Rangers. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. So, in, it shows a little tutorial when it pops up, but essentially now the Advent Soldiers have different colors instead of just black and red. They all have different abilities and statistics. It makes it really interesting. So what we're going to do is now move up and get into a good flanking position. I want to be able to one-turn them, essentially with a good overwatch. Oh shit, they saw it. They saw me. God damn it. They... <laughs> so this is not good. They, I accidentally ran into their little sight bubble. Anyways. So now we have the new enemies, the Advent Infantry. We have the blue, the green, the red, and the orange. Essentially, the blue is Overwatch, which is ability we'll go over here in a bit. Green, which is high damage cannon and suppression capabilities. So he has a big auto cannon. Red is grenade launcher control, and he has a lot of crowd control stuff. Rockets are orange. So we got a green, blue, and I think there was a red one that ran behind here, but we lost sight of him. Now, we're at a predicament because they all have high cover. A thing that I can do with our Reaper friend is try to get into a better position. And figure out where the other pod is. I will reposition. I have a decent shot here. There is a pod here as well. That's not great. I guess that'll be okay. Uh, this pod will probably end up running running into. I'm going to have everyone kind of just move around here. Group B is going to overwatch for the turn because we are not in a good spot. I have him over uh, overwatch. He's still in his ghost mode for a bit, which allows him to be stealthy. Go back into stealth after being spotted. Now we have to figure this out. We can try to take control of the high cover. Finally. Now, what I want to happen, in a good scenario, this pot over here, I want them to discover us on their turn. Essentially, what the pod would do then, and by the way, I don't know if I explained, but a pod is a group of enemies, one through whatever. But it's essentially a non-active group. 
they are simply just sitting here waiting to be activated to be spotted or to spot for us to spot them or for vice versa. At least that's what I call them as a pod. Now, what I want to happen on a good day is for them to walk into our sites on their turn so that when they, they activate po uh, when the po pod pops, essentially, they will run into position and end their turn. They will not attack because they were popped on their t on their turn. Since this group was um, activated on our turn, next turn they'll be able to move and attack. It's not beneficial for us to be in this situation, but we're gonna have to figure it out. I, I, I guess that'll be okay. Now, since there's a lot of high cover going on here, I need to figure this out. Yeah, the grenade is over here. We don't really have anything to blow up cover. The frag grenades just do damage. They're not the best. I could get a grenade in right here. And right here. Which would be great. We could try that. Keep you in the back. She's got some cute glasses. You only have sights on him for 39%. I'm really to roll this just for the uh to roll this one just for a chance. That was a miss, that's fine. We have a flank, which is amazing. Oh, the grenade did break some cover. Nice. Take him out. Good kill. Uh, we got a 40 and a 37. We'll take the 40 and just take a shot. Good kill. I got it, right? Ellis. Elise. Good job. Oh, they just popped. Now we're overwatching. That's a miss and a miss. That's not great. But they're popping this turn. On their turn. So they're not going to have a shoot phase. This is, just explains that the a mod adds in a new enemy called the drone. Good kill. Since we're in high co uh, long cover, we're, or, you know, good cover. There's half cover and full cover. Since we're in full cover, we're getting a big uh, boost in defense. But they're also in full cover, which makes this hard. Now, if you see here, he's in Overwatch. He's an Overwatch specialist. When he ends his turn, he'll usually end up in Overwatch. It's not great for us. Our guy got spotted by the drone, so... Not the best scenario. I could be really ballsy and move right here for a possible flank. But he's also in cover right here, so that wouldn't be a flank. We have to try to think of a good position here. The only problem is we don't know what's out here. There could be another pod here. So pushing up right here could activate someone. I could call this as it is and try to just shoot this guy. We'll wait. We'll wait until we figure this out. Let's figure out what's going on over here. Um, he is an Overwatch. What we can do here is a little flash game. Flash grenade. A flash grenade would. No, maybe a grenade. Can I get a grenade in there? Just for a little bit of damage. We don't want to kill him. Rotate the camera. This will do a little bit of damage. Perfect. And it will end his overwatch because he took damage. It killed him, so that doesn't matter. So now that he's dead, these guys can move safely. There's still the grenader in the back. Out of actions. Let's move up here. If you say so. Remember, this guy's a grenader, so let's try to keep our troops separated. 
open the door so we can gain some sight. We have a 28, so I'm just gonna overwatch. overwatch. We're gonna pick up the uh, the loot that dropped. Got a stock. That's not bad. If we can get this shot off, it'd be perfect. 47 for the hit. It was a miss. That's all right. Yeah, I didn't get it. Training ammo fast. Um. I want to break this guy right away. Open our options up. I missed an 89, I believe. She did, at least. Okay. This is XCOM. You have to remember that <laughs> this is XCOM. This happens. I'm going to move here in the back. Because we're not doing so well anymore. We'll take the shot. Close range. That's better. We'll take the 45 and call it a day. We missed. That's fine. We'll move here. Take the 44. Good kill, good kill. It's dead. It has to be dead. Oh, that's a heavy push. Our buddy got hit in the armor. He missed, but he didn't move. So what we can do is now is be a little bit ballsy. At least that's what I call it. We do have sight lanes here, so we're going to move here. We have the shot. It didn't kill him. But it was a good hit. So what I'm going to do now is send my Reaper in. Because the Reaper has what you call a throwing dagger. And it's pretty good at close range. Okay. That was very necessary to get to this exact location. Knife. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. I want to be in high cover here. We might take a big move here. This pod's dead, so we can move up. This is ballsy right here, but we'll move it. Got it. Move it up. Um, we'll just hold. We'll get up there and get some high ground. Oh, we accidentally activated the last pod. Ah, uh, the Overwatch missed. That sucks. Oh, grenade coming out. Is that a flash? It's a flash. So that is a sectoid. A little psychic little beast. They tr so what they uh, the sectoid tried to do there was mind control, but at the same time we um, managed to resist it, but just left them in a panic. This side is all disoriented. This side now needs to pick up the slack. We got a 43 on him. 
I don't think that's really worth. But we might have to just take it. Next turn, we can go back into shadow and really push up. I'm trying to see if I can get a sight on... I can kind of see it. So if you see this little dot here, it means you have sight on the enemy. I want to be able to see if I have sight on the sectoid if I move somewhere. So we have sight here. Perfect. 91. Take him out. Nice. That was clean. Alright. I'll have you reload since you're out. Which takes up one part of the two movements and we'll push up. I know that's kind of ridiculous for that to be a 28% hit chance, but that's just how it is. It's XCOM, baby. Seems doable. Uh, there is one Advent Trooper left. We could be a little bit ballsy. Are you disoriented still? I don't think you are. We can move down here, get into big cover, and try to take a shot. It's ballsy, but we'll do it. So now we're in cover from this guy, but we have good sights on this one. Good hit. Now we have to kill him. <laughs> now he has to die. That's a 28. We are disoriented, so we're just gonna have to push up and hope for the best. There we go. That's that's better. I'm gonna take one movement to uh, grab this. Oh wait, you can't grab when you're disoriented, I forgot. That really sucks. I didn't have to do that, I just like doing that. Now we're gonna push up a bit. Roger that. The Advent Soldier is falling back a bit. We got hit, but that's alright. Now, it looks like we're having an easy time, but in all honesty, if they would have gotten in a good position hit us, we could die in one shot. Suppressor is really good. And helps later on. I'm tempted just to grenade him. Tired of waiting around. Let's just take pot shots. I got nothing. I got nothing. Need a resupply. Go shadow. We'll dig a do a big push. So right now, that soldier doesn't know where this guy is, which is amazing. Everyone's just going to push up on the right side. Running. We're going to push up, surround him, take him out. Because if you grenade him or kill an enemy with an explosive, you destroy the loot. And that's the one thing we don't want. It does leave us for a chance to kind of get hurt. We don't want that, but... What's over there? We're, uh... We're doing this for uh, XP and loot, essentially. This is a good mission to get started. Covering now. On my way. I'm gonna flash grenade him. Little flash to uh, lower his aim a bit. He's just gonna Overwatch. That's fine. I am at your service. 
Just curious if I can get a knife off here. What's up? Oh, it's only one. That's a graze. So graze is another mechanic that they added on. And we didn't get revealed because we used the uh, knife, but his watch is gone, so we can push up. So graze is a, an ability that they added on for lung war. And essentially, if you roll high enough on your hit roll to just barely hit him, you still get a graze. So you still do a little bit of damage. Essentially, how this works is if you look right here, you have... I have a 43% chance to hit. Here is the 43% chance. Right here is the graze amount. Or like, right here is like full amount, essentially. I forgot how it works. It's like, like barely, if you barely make it, you graze. I think that's basically how it works. I can look it up on the wiki later, but that was a miss. Yeah, I didn't get it. yeah you didn't. No round. Okay, I'll go. We're just going to push up, be aggressive, take him out. 50-50 coin flip. Ah, the coin flip failed. We're just shooting at this guy. I, I don't want to kill him because we need his gear. Essentially. Absolutely. But right now he's surrounded. I hope he feels like he's in danger. No problem, boss. He should feel like he's in trouble. 45 is pretty good. Nope, never mind. Fuck it. Eh, well, actually, let's hold off on that. Anyone else can move? You can. You have sights here. We'll save that grenade, because I don't want to put us into this position. 44? Nope. Not even close. Your last. Go ahead and grenade. We might lose a little bit of loot, but that's fine. And loot destroyed, of course. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. I didn't want to risk losing anyone there. The speaker commended loyal citizens today for standing up to those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. The remarks followed a moment of silence for peacekeepers slain by XCOM dissidents. That's not bad. That wasn't bad. We were able to do work there. As long as there's even one Reaper left standing, you can bet they're still in the fight. Finger on the trigger. Alright, so now the team gets promotions. No matter what, I think if you survive a mission, you get promoted. Because uh, Watkins over here didn't get any kills but still got promoted. So pretty good. Uh, we got our first Shinobi, which is a close-range, sneaky character. Essentially, right away, they get uh, Phantom, Fletch, and Slash. So, Fletch and Slash are relatively the same, but Fletch is... You're moving while you're slashing, and you get, like, plus one damage. As long as you're within a certain amount of tiles. So, you're using your movement to attack as well, so it's pretty cool. And you can actually use your, like, dash dash move to attack as well. So it's pretty good. Uh, but you can see that there's a whole new line. If you're familiar with the original XCOM, essentially there was like two rows of abilities you could choose. Now there's three. Some of them are simpler. Some of them are understandable. Like here at Ghostwalker, it doesn't really tell you, but like Ghostwalker helps you with infiltration missions as well. So there's a lot that uh, this game goes through. There's a lot on the wiki, essentially. We got our first sniper. Essentially, the sniper gets the rifle, squad sight, and hollow target. Hollow target allows you to target an enemy with a little device on her hip and goes beep boop beep and you can hit them better. Uh, squad sight allows you to see 
uh, squad mate's sight. Essentially, you see what your teammates see, so they can hang back without any issue. We got our specialist, a little drone user, hacking, a wire protocols, stuff like that, aid protocol. This is stuff that was in the base kit of the original specialist. But as you can probably will tell here pretty soon that like one class in the vanilla is split into two. That's basically how this is. Now we got the technical class. So we have heavy weapons. We'll be trained and use the XCOM gauntlet. Combine rocket launcher and flamethrower. So in a little wrist gadget on her wrist, she has a rocket launcher and flamethrower. Pretty cool. Resistance factions take a more flexible approach to training than traditional soldiers. They can often learn multiple new abilities with each promotion. They will adapt to follow your choices, Commander. Um. So, this is one of the DLC classes, but it's been in upgraded a bit. So now we have. A Lance Corporal, uh, she's pretty much our highest ranked character in the game so far. What we could do is take Blood Trail, Knife Juggler, or Total Combat. And I think we might actually be able to buy these abilities over again with Soldier AP. So the more we use the Soldier, the more abilities we can purchase. So they can actually, they might be able to dive into different fields. I don't know yet. I haven't gotten that far. But for right now, I think Blood Trail might be good. Knife Juggler is also good. Adds one bonus to damage with throwing knives. And a bonus additional throwing knife. And kills with the primary usage. Each kill with a primary weapon grants a knife charge. That's not bad. But I don't think the I don't think we're going in that much. Let's get Blood Trail for just for the sniper ability. Each of our soldiers is rated. Based on their understanding of our tactics and capabilities, something we refer to as combat intelligence. Because of their unique experiences in the field, our faction soldiers from the resistance will gain access to new abilities based on this combat intelligence. Cool. Uh, we got assault. Assault guy essentially is our run and gun shotgunner. They can also use an SMG, I believe. But they're mostly known for their shot, um, shotgun. So we got the run and gun ability, which is usually a later on ability in vanilla. But now we get it right away. It's pretty awesome. I think it was like a level, like a uh, corporal level ability. I don't remember. It's been a while since I played original XCOM. And we have two in the back. Um, We got a gunner. Heavy Gunner. So we got Suppression, Area Suppression, and Night Fighter. They are not real. I don't think they're really known for the whole knife thing, but. Gungo Burr. That's essentially their class. And we got a Ranger. Ranger has the shotgun on the back, so close quarters ability and some long, medium to long range ability as well with the rifle. Pretty cool. And Light em Up, which is a. I love this ability. Center shots with your primary weapon are not turn ending, so you can shoot and move instead of move and shoot. We got a suppressor stock and some goodies. Long War is a complete overhaul of XCOM 2 War, uh, War of the Chosen that makes the campaign more challenging and feel like a guerrilla war. You can dispel. Disable the tutorial and the... Okay, it's just saying you can disable this tutorial, but we're not because I am noob. I hate that. Ow. I hate how loud that cutscene is. Essentially, that was uh, the Overseer, I think. I forgot his name. Essentially, it's our boss saying, hey, the world has been taken over. It's your job to take it back. That's what we're going to do. There is no, no one else to help us. Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. 
If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Teigen, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Essentially, uh... In the tutorial, at least, you learned that your character, the Commander, was in suspension and you got rescued. That's basically what we know so far. Now, research is completely different in Long War. Not completely different, but it's a lot harder. Um, experimental weapons, research. We could just go with resistance communications. Alien Biotech will allow us to start autopsies, I believe. Basic research. Uh, this is a hard, this is a hard choice because we don't have the alien alloys to get this, but we might pretty soon with one more mission. Let's do. Let's work on that. Engineering. Let's see, build items. How big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear up space for construction first. All right. And here we can uh, build what we need, facilities and all the like. Now, for vanilla, I would always go Gorilla School first, but here I am not sure what is best to go first. If anything, I think infirmary. We don't have scientists to really station it. <clears throat> I don't think that we get use of the infirmary until we get scientists. It's possible that we could buy a scientist and wait the 14 days. It's a possibility. Resistance ring. And we could also try the resistance ring, ring which is also really cheap. We could try this. This is more operations if we have the manpower. Now, this might not be the best option, but we're going for it. We'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. Now... And when we recruit, we can recruit a few of these guys. Their aim is kind of eh. But we kind of need the help. Let's recruit those guys for right now and keep the supplies that we have. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. All right. Now let's see how badly we mess up our first campaign. Black market, let's do it. Looks like we're in South Africa. Commander, God, I hope Avengers <laughs> remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Commander, seems like we actually managed to impress the Reapers. Their operative has just provided us the coordinates to their HQ. Now that we're in the area, it may be worth spending some time here. Not to mention meeting their leader, Bulk. My people have thrown off the shackles of alien oppression. And through discipline, we have survived. We don't rely on the aliens' technology, and we would never live in their cities. We are the hunters. We move in the shadows. And we won't sleep until the last alien is dead at our feet. So this is something I learned only the other day. We click here. Another thing pops up, which wasn't, I don't think was in the vanilla game at all. I'm not sure. Uh, Intel 
So you can set people, operatives inside your havens to essentially work different fields, grant supplies, recruit, and detect missions. So if we put in um, soldiers, there's different effects for that it looks like. So here I want supply, supply, and I'll do a recruit and recruit. Half and half. That sounds fair, right? So we should be getting more recruits and supplies there. Finish this off. A little scout mission. Nice. Now we can purchase people, anything we need, really. Grenade or engineer and a scientist. If we get the engineer, we can start working on stuff. Which sounds good, in theory. I'm kind of down for that. Let's recruit him. This, that sounds really ballsy, it feels like to me, but... Yeah, so if we go back here... Alien debris... We can start clearing out the debris from the alien ship. But we'll get material out of it, so it's okay. So what we're gonna do is go here. We're gonna wait for some missions to appear. And we're getting a little bit of supplies with this. First mission discovered. You detected your first mission. Your next step is to assign a squad to infiltrate. Most missions have ex expiration date, expiry date. For sure, it takes time. Improve your odds by or reaching 100% infiltration by putting more rebels on intel job. I'll oh, put more rebels on intel job. Okay. Scanning at Haven with the eventual will contribute four rebels worth of intel. Okay. Commander, as the resistance cool. That makes sense now. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Commander, if we're gonna win this war, we need to take every chance we get to fight back. We'll have to be ready to engage the enemy during unpredictable situations, which requires special planning and preparation. Alright. So, right now, we need to build a squad for this. We're also gonna run into a bunch of more... Um, missions while we're uh, setting this one up. So essentially right now what we're going to be doing is infiltrating. And depending on who goes on the mission, who is using what gun or equipment, how heavy they are, messes with your infiltration. And it determines how heavy um, or how, how hard is the mission's really going to be. There's a lot of factors that take into this. So, like, I want to put in the Reaper. Let's throw in... I don't want to throw in a Shinobi. Let's throw in an Assault. I'm going to name me... I'm going to be naming these characters later, though. And a couple of rookies. This guy knows what he's doing. Respect. Um. So, right now, to reach... For these four characters, we are still within the time limit at reach 116. Let's throw in another guy. Uh, this will reach... 92%. Which we don't want. We want 100. I might change some things up and remove some items here. Try to reach that 100%. Um, this is rough. I want this gone. Oh, okay. 
So click on this. Back. There we go. Now we can do that. Essentially, we just need to make, make these guys lighter. Um, not really working. What we could do is give one an SMG. That might help. No? So, what we're looking at right now is saying that we have this percentage to trade, and it's going to be extremely light to 7 to 9 enemies. And what we want is to have the least amount of enemies possible, because we don't have the... Essentially, the manpower to really take out a lot of enemies. So what we're looking for right now is a way to infiltrate with easy missions. Let's try to... Add in a guy who's kind of fast gray. No, that still doesn't do it. We have a lot of rookies. We could definitely... See, this is very light, 10 to 12. Still risky. Let's throw in... Petition? No. I think they're just gonna have to go with this. Wait, what? Okay, I thought it said for a second there. Let's bring some med, cat, med packs. I think this is what we're going to have to do with this one. And just hope for the best. One med pack should be fine. Yeah, see it was 116, now it's uh, 115, just with that one item. So it might help a percentage, and take away percentage with each item, but it's really the characters that really do it. This might have to do... We'll have to be really careful with this team. Um, new research, comms, resistance, contact. So we can now essentially stretch our reach. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Commander, we can now work to establish contact with local resistance. Got Chile. Out of regions around the globe. East Africa. We've collected sufficient intel to make contact. Indonesia. And the target region for the operative signal. Another mission? ...scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations. The aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good. Uh, let's see. Rescue resistance contacts, so... If you're rescuing a contact... I'd rather do something like this. Oh, that's pretty bad. We might have to boost this one. I think that's what we're gonna have to do is boost. And I'm a rookie. I think that should be fine. We'll try to boost it. It's, I'm kind of worried. Let's take away one person. That's a little better. Add in a rookie. I, I think I feel like that minigun's heavy. Maybe, yeah. Where's 
really thinking here. I apologize. Yeah, it's not that big of a difference. Okay. We'll do this. We're rescuing a lot of personnel here. We'll start the infiltration, but we're going to boost the uh, infiltration. Now it's saying infiltration missions, and it kind of explains what I just talked about, about boosting. We're going to boost for 25 intel. <laughs> just can you continue scanning for a bit. Another mission. I think it always throws three at you. Traces of a signal coming through. Someone on the ground is trying to reach us, but I can't make it out. Keep your eyes peeled for possible contacts down there. I'm gonna clear the squad. Specialists. Technical. Why is it so heavy? We might need to boost this one too. What the hell? Um, yeah. Looks like we're boosting this one too for more intel. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. We just don't have good operatives that can infiltrate well. Also, I think it's mainly because. I think it's also because of here. Get one more intel. Oh, that good. We cleared the debris view room. Nice. I want to clear this room down here. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but that's fine. Because what we could do is put a workshop right here, and it would. Uh... I'll explain workshops later. There's a whole way to build your uh, layout. All right, so we got 100%. So we can go on this mission right now. I know the video's going a little bit long, but I say we do this mission and uh, we'll call it at that point, just so we can get two missions in. Is it, this game, this uh, this campaign is going to be very long. There's going to be a lot to this. And I think the first episode will be fine if it's a little bit longer. It might be an hour 30, who knows. I'm trying to time myself with it. So I do apologize if it is a little bit long for everyone, but I'm going to try to keep it under an hour. Keep it within an hour, I mean. Oh, it's bright out. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. All right, we gotta Last move. Tip that Advent has ten, ten turns. Stash somewhere in the AO, but we don't have an exact position. The clock is ticking, but we should still try to recover that gear if possible. That's sketchy. Moving to designated position. Ooh, that's spooky. All right. We got people here. Let's take a turn to really get into position. I understand. Now, just like before, we we are in stealth. Closing on target position now. We're just getting ready for the fight. Double time. Double time. They do have a propane tank there. Now, 
he's not going to shoot his overwatch unless they attack us. Looks like they're out of our sight now. So we can move up. Can you stay away from the civilians because they'll scream? At this point, the civilians think we're, you know, not so good people. But we are. We're just trying our best right now. Beat, beat. Beat, beat. I love that. Vo those voice lines. They're hilarious to me. Um, We could just ignore this pod for right now. Our objective right now is just to get to this stash. Yeah. I'll be there soon. I was thinking of ambushing them, but the patrol is coming. Another patrol. Okay. They're inside the building. Rolling out. Alright, they're moving away. This pod is gone. I'm happy. If this pod this pod's moving inward. Do we have a way in? We don't. Not an easy way. If we jump through the window, though, as it shows, we'll lose our stealth. We can't have that. We just need to keep moving. I will reposition. Get our uh, guy in the skies. That way, if we have to, we can just jump in there and get it. But it looks like all of our fighting is going to be in this building. Let's do this. Uh, that's kind of sketch. We'll just move here. We have to remember that there is a pod over here. They're not active, but they can definitely screw us over if we're not careful. Oh, they're coming back. So this is when I say they need to die. And these guys are also right here. Not the best for me. With the team, I mean. I go what I'm needed. Alright. We're gonna have to think about this. I say we move away from this pod and focus on this pod here. We'll create a firing line here. Alright, we no longer see this pod. They will not activate. That's perfect. We have some good shot chances. I want our, of course, our Overwatch to, or Sniper, our Reaper, to take the first shot. Overwatching. I don't want our shotgun to shoot, because he might as well shoot, actually. Cheers. Ah, oh, the grays. No. All right, let's do it. Two grazes. Ah, oh, that was rough. They might get grenaded. That's really bad. Help! 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 They coming over here. Uh ah, oh, damn it, he is throwing it out. What is it? Please be a suppression. Uh suppression? Suppression. Okay, cool. Be it? <laughs> <laughs> Go. Do that. 
Okay, so they really can't do much right now. 100% baby, take it. I think he's gonna revive the corpse. That's an ability that they can do. Now they got a zombie. No respite for the dead. That was his turn. They're just gonna take a shot. That hurt. Or this orientation is removed. What can we see? I'm gonna take the 56. Nice. I require a new mission. Not a problem. Move up. Can I get in range? No. Flash grenade. It'll disorient him and get rid of his power. I have to be careful here. I don't want to. Affirmative, covering now. Don't want to peel off too much. We have five turns left. We got to move. On my way. Ah, damn it. That was a graze. It's not that bad. Cheers. Alright, we gotta go. We now have to go. We'll grab this, because it's pretty important. Because that's our one way to get good loot. Ah, oh, shit. Looks like we're fighting here. Which is not great. We might have some deaths here. Get this guy over here. I want you to toss that flashbang in there. Oh, they're at the objective too. Hmm. Where are we? Like right here. There might be someone hiding. We're stealthy again. We're moving. We just need the package. Oh, this truck can blow up. I need to be careful. Ah, oh, he's hurt. Stay in cover, buddy. Come on. Keep your head down. Kind of cheese this a little bit and grab it and go. You need to help our buddy. Got the goods. Good to go. Good to go. God, he sounds like he is not interested. Vogue says I am to obey. The objective is inside the commander. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire.
I shouldn't have done that. We have time. Going loud. He's out of cover. All right. Heading there now. Get it close and take him out. Nice. We lost a little bit of loot, but we succeeded. All right. We need to call an evac. Because once we get the data, we need to get out. Because right here in the top left, as you can see, there's reinforcements coming. If we don't get out, we'll get swarmed. It won't be a game over, but we can definitely lose time. That was a clutch grenade. Even if we lost a little bit of loot, that was clutch. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, bugger. That's fine. All right, objective. We got it. I will bring it back personally. Menace one five. Status. I will bring it the back up personally. Inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. We just need to hold this for a bit. Already there. Let's just reload. There's no, there's no more targets because we defeated the two pods that were here, which equaled up to what the mission could hold. I guess there could be something still here. I think there was only two pods we fought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There might be someone around. It's possible. All right. Our ride should be here in a second. And there it is. Our ride's here. Let's get out. That's a clean mission. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. We do have one major injury and one graze. So it's really not that bad. I will say this is just base game with the uh, Long War mod besides Evac All. Evac All, if you don't know, is a mod that just allows you to have a button that says Evac All. And you get a nice little cutscene of everyone leaving at once. Clean operation. Okay. This is Firebrand. Package is secure. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Status confirmed. That was a good operation. Yeah, there was two enemies left. There were probably drones scouting around somewhere. Good mission. Good job, everyone. So, next time I am going to be... I'll, I'll be naming some of my friends, but once someone reaches Squatty, which is the first rank after Rookie, um, I'll give them a name. And if you want, if you want your, if you want a character to be named something, just leave a comment. By all means, it's gonna be like a first come first serve thing. Oh my god, 29 days injured, that's why you need so many troops. He got a kill, he finished the mission. It was his first mission, and he almost died. Uh, we got a Grenader. Nice. Essentially, they have a grenade launcher along with their rifle, and they can make big booms. It's lovely. Um... I kind of want reflex sights. Or, uh, uh, lightning reflexes, I mean. He did get grazed by that overwatch, and this allows him to dodge better. Essentially, reaction... What it states is, reaction fire shots against you have significantly decreased chance to hit. The bonus goes down with each additional reaction shot you face. In the vanilla game, this is 100% chance to miss with all the shots. 
now it's just a small small boost but it helps him because running guns a big thing what are you uh we got another uh ranger nice another suppressor or we got some good stuff all right that's gonna be it for right now i hope you all enjoyed this is gonna be a new se long form series who knows we could even fail this game could end and we could lose dramatically but for right now hey it's been it's lady Havana. It, hope you everyone had fun have no in Volk, don't interrupt me bad Volk. choose to do with their lives beyond that point is up to them <clears throat> ruining my outro thanks folk have a great day everyone love you and take care